This gentleman is no stranger. You know who he is, but I'm gonna let him introduce you. Yo, I'm Shamik Moore. Might know me as Miles Morales. Might know me as Raekwon the Chef. Might know me as Shaolin Fantastic, the Lady Killing Romantic. Uh, but we're here at the BET Awards 2023. Uh, it feels, the vibes are immaculate. Surrounded by black excellence, the culture, I mean, happy birthday, hip hop. You played a really legendary character with the Spidey verse. When you were when you were crafting that character, as far as just putting the voice to it and putting the talents to it, yeah. what was going through your mind? Was that something that you were looking forward to to be able to kind of give some life or give some personality of your own to that character? Yeah, I mean, I think I was chosen for those reasons. I, I think after I booked the role, I just needed to follow directions. I think they they casted all of the characters off of you know spirit and heart, you know, um, so we didn't have to do too much out of body acting. Um, not yet, at least. So it, it's been nice. It's been, I mean, the animators killed it, the directors, the writers. Uh, everybody was super intentional, but it was so loose and creative and fun, and it really treated like a passion project. So that's why it looks like that. It's, it's for the fans, you know? No, I thought it was a great, it, it, it was not only great from an, an, from an animation standpoint, but diversity as well. It's really pulled in a lot of cultures, a lot of colors, a lot of genders. Um, and it really resonates not only with the young people, but the older people as well. 100%. You know, I, I love closing that gap. You know, I love closing that gap. My, my nephews can finally see something that I'm in, so that, that was really nice. Speaking of another iconic role you've played, uh, Raekwon the Chef in the Wu-Tang series. Yeah. What was that experience like for you, and what did you learn about Raekwon that you didn't know before? I learned everything. I mean, I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't know anything before, so I learned everything after taking on the role and uh, being able to embody or just step into his light. I, I don't think anybody could ever be the true one and only Ray Kwan the chef, but you know, um, I just wanted to do his legacy justice and I wanted to do his legacy justice to his fans and for the culture. So it seems like the response has been that, you know, the culture and the fans feel that way. So, you know, one character down onto the next. Absolutely, man. I think you did a phenomenal job. I think everybody in that cast did a phenomenal job. I really thoroughly enjoyed the series. What's next for you? Because I know you always got something moving and you always got something going. What's what's going? What's next for you? I'm actually, oh, there's so many things, but the most, uh, what's about to happen this week, I'm, I'm dropping a music video I directed. Um, I'm very excited to finally just let the work speak, drop the music, and go from there.